X-Men, the animated series, 1992. S season 1, episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called Slave Island. And let us dive right in. So yeah, this episode, you know, it's slightly toned down for kids, but this is a very good, like, criticism of, of slavery. You know, you see them overworked. You see them punished. Like, Storm being put in a box like to to sweat like that's a thing that's something that used to actually be done to punish you know african american slaves african slaves i guess you know in america right um yes before i get further please support the sag after strike uh, there's a link to donate in the description box as well as links to videos that describe why the strike is so necessary but yeah, so back to yeah, and you know, Storm tries to escape almost immediately. You know, the the and yeah, you know, they they turn the collar back on, and the the powers get her powers are disabled, and you know, yeah, she actually she falls into water, and you know. The, the, yeah, and a, and a sentinel emerges from the water, you know, grabs her, emerges from the water, just, just when you thought they couldn't look even, look any cooler. And, let's see. Yeah, and, and, you know, Jubilee points out, I'm afraid I forget the character's name, but he now goes by, well, yeah, let's see, the leader now goes by leader, but the other one, was it Gyrich? It might be Gyrich. You know, the, the, yeah, you know, the, the program was canceled by the president, so he went elsewhere and did the same thing. And this is, a, like, there's a, a number of things that, because, you know, horrible people can't do it in America, they just go elsewhere and try to do it there. You know, a lot of uh, um, Christian uh, missionaries have gone to Africa to encourage them to, you know, execute people for being gay because these Christian missionaries obviously wish they could do that in America. They can't, so they go elsewhere, you know, because their goal is not necessarily to improve their own country. It's just, you know, they think it's better the more gay people are killed. And let's see. Yeah, and, and Gambit tells the... Uh, the the slavers of Storm's powers so that they they won't kill her and uh, you know it's a it's a difficult situation you can understand both why he does it and why Storm doesn't want him to and I love the quote knowledge is power and Sunfire is there even named and using his powers very cool and let's see. Yeah, and Wolverine is back to the X Men and apparently has a cold because he was in what was it, the Ar the Arctic or so it's just yeah wow. And then Sunfire talks and yeah, unfortunately he has an offensive accent, so that's not great. And yeah, the escape fails. Gambit told the 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 slavers and you know we realize later it was part of a larger plan but you know if I, I, I forget if they explore that later in this show but like in the comics he was like he I believe it was betrayal he's having he definitely did some like really skeevy stuff in his past so yeah may, maybe they will get to it maybe this is just the way to you know, they can't cover, you know, there's, like, when this show started, there were, like, almost 30 years, I guess 29 years of comic stories. It's impossible for them to cover it all. Like, basically, literally, they would, they would just, yeah, it, you know, they would have, they would need an extremely high amount of episodes to cover them all. Very cool to see Blob and Mystique. Uh, I don't think they mention they they name Blob, 
And Mystique, I don't think we got to see her use her powers. It is cool to see her, and I know that she does become important later. And the Master Mold is introduced, and yeah, that legitimately is a very scary idea that there will be thousands of these, you know, and, and yeah, like, fascists will always try to take power and increase their power, you know, the, the you know, you, you can look at their, their, you know, America isn't currently a fascist country, though not for lack of trying by conservatives, but the the police force is militarized you know which is a fascist trait you know it's the it's completely unnecessary for them to have all this military equipment and let's see yeah and you know gambit like not only did he tell on jubilee's plan just going to make sure that wasn't a nope it was not about lightning uh, you know, but he's now telling them about the X-Men also, you know, and the one of the slavers asked, you know, the X-Men, what's so special about them? And, I mean, there's an X in front of their name. I think that's pretty significant, dude. And we meet Cable. Very, very cool. Um, this explains even less of the character than Deadpool 2, which is impressive. Um, I'm pretty sure he comes back later. They do, like, actually give him, from what I remember, they they do, uh, like, it, it, it for this episode, it kind of feels like someone, like, flipping through comic book pages of X-Men, like, ooh, that guy has a cool design, and someone was like, oh, Cable, oh, you know, he's a very intricate character. It's like, cool gun, cool gun, let's, you know, just, yeah. And, you know, he's an American. This is an American show, so most of the important people are American. And, yeah, they do manage to free themselves and each other. It is very convenient that Cable attacks, you know, so soon after the ex- or, or that his attack is- oh wait, actually, hold on. I guess the reason his attack was so successful was because of all the chaos that the freed mutant slaves were causing. Fair enough, he was basically waiting for the right time to make a big- and he knew because he met Gambit. Fair enough. And, uh, you know, and Storm destroys- oh, damn. And the, like, you know, she almost, you know, she collapses because of the strain, which is also good, like, a good message for the kids. No matter how strong you are, it is possible to, you know, overexert yourself. And, you know, just as she's, you know, Rogue flies in and, and grabs her, which is great, because, like, we didn't know that they'd gotten there, but we knew that they were concerned, you know, they were like, ah, these Genotians never answer the phone. You know, it's logical for them to go and and actually fly there and check. You know, like it's it's kind of a helicopter or X jet parenting thing to do. But yeah, you know, it's if if you don't hear from someone and you're part of a marginalized group that are literally being attacked, yeah, fair enough. And you know, right after we see Rokla, you know, we see the X jet off in the background. So yeah. And, right, uh, Gambit makes some really sexist uh, statements in this episode about, like, Jubilee is, you know, telling her to, you know, stop talking, do you ever shut up, how can you sweat so much and not lose weight and such, but, you know, he is supposed to be like that, I didn't think they needed to lay on quite that thick, and, yeah, she continues to be pretty annoying, like, almost everything she says and does kind of annoying, um, yeah, let's see, the, yeah, and, you know, Cable blows up the car, but he set the gun very carefully to, this is a kid's show, make sure they can get out of the car before it blows up, and the, yeah, so, so, 
the um, the X Jet with the X Men returns to the X Mansion, and Wolverine is like enraged that he didn't get to do any action in this episode, and we see that the mansion has been destroyed and. Yeah, that is, like, holy crap, you know, again, like, how could you not check out next episode? How, you know, it's one of those things where you spend the entire week, like, going over, okay, who could it be, you know, because there's so many powerful X-Men enemies that could have destroyed the entire X-Mansion. Yeah. Um, I suppose that is more or less it. I, I appreciate the detail that Blob wants to kill the the slaver guard and storm saves him and we get the detail about you know they're not going to the the slaves are not the, the former slaves are not going to help fight with the x-men until all of genosha is free uh, which is you know yeah like sometimes you know like obviously you know they're they're probably grateful, they don't say it, and Jubilee calls that out, but yeah, you know, if your entire country is in a really bad state, for example, you know, your people are slaves, yeah, makes a lot of sense to focus on that, to not join the, the, yeah. I think that might be everything... I, th I think they actually got Sunfire's powers exactly right. Like the the um, you know from yeah from his from his hands they the the um, and it is like basically the 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 sun you know it's not just like really really hot you know I feel like I can't, I can't believe I'm blanking on his name. Um, Okay, I'm, I'm going to see if I can, let's see. I mean, that was Warpath, wasn't it? It, it certainly looked a lot like Warpath in this episode. Um, or, hold on, hold on, wait. No, yeah, yeah, um, but they gave him, like, super strength. I mean, it's been a while. He, he was one of my favorite characters. You know, he's basically, like... You know this this Ameri this this white person's ideal of what a Native American is like. So you know he's like insanely good tracker and and this kind of th you know I, I don't remember him having super strength. Um, let's see. I feel like at least some of the now former slaves are gonna go and become some of the enemies of, of the X-Men, like, you know, the during the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. So, you know, that, again, you know, yeah, the they're not, like, just born evil, they were abused, and in response, they do evil things. I think that might, more or less, um... They did a good job letting Storm really shine, rain and shine in this episode. Uh, you know, she she got a decent amount of power use, and the like. It was important that she got put in the. Is it called a hot box? Sweat box? I forget. <clears throat> hmm. You know, Jubilee mentions it. Talks about oh, it must be awful because of the the um, claustrophobia and when she's in you know she's basically delirious uh, you know and right and the detail that a slave that goes out of line might actually be executed just for that like she didn't hurt anyone she just tried to escape and they're gonna kill her for that you know Let's see and and the only, the reason they don't kill her is because they think oh she can be useful it's not empathy it's not feeling bad and based on how quick they come to that decision and the fact that none of the guards question it i don't think this is the first time you know this is probably just 
the policy. If a slave tries to escape and we don't think they're useful enough, you know, execution. And so, so you know, I, th I think there's a decent chance that this episode helped inspire some empathy in kids for, you know, the not former slaves, but like the the descendants of former slaves, you know, Af African Americans, and you know, this doesn't really, you know, this this only focuses on the immediate slaves, which is also important because there, you know, there are still slaves. It's just, you know, it's not talked about as much in Western media, you know, but yeah, they're they're still yeah. Um, I suppose that might cover... Yeah, I, I really admire how well they handled the the issue of, of slavery for a kid's show. Like, they, they... You know, when I saw the title, Slave Island, I was like, oh, wow, they're, they're going there. You know, it's... Like, I don't think I've watched the... Last time, you know, other than start, you know, rewatching them now, I don't think I've watched these since like 2000 or so. You know, they they got re-aired right after the live action movie came out. You know, to to um, yeah, you know, because of increased interest, renewed interest in that. I I don't think I've seen it since then. So yeah, like 20 years. Uh, d depending on how often they showed episodes, since there's five years worth of episodes. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with how well they handled it, because when I saw the title, I was like, they're going there, but it's a kid's show, but they actually, you know, they didn't, like, show whipping, but I feel like that might go past, I don't think they would have been allowed to show that. And, like, the, the hot box, that is very, very intense, I think that might be everything. It's also a good point that, like, you know, I, yes, yeah, so I mentioned that, you know, there are Americans who want to do awful things, can't do it in America, so they go to other countries. It is also just as general, like, you know, if you live in you know, those of us who live in the West, we're kind of just used to, oh, yeah, you know, you have, you have civil rights, you know, but, like, you know, especially those of us who are cis and white, especially men, but, uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot of countries around the world where, you know, if you consider going there, make sure that it's a place that, where you will have civil rights. Yeah, I, I, that's absolutely everything I had to say, so... Yeah. Um, make my marble.